Hello, my dear students, and welcome to week three overview. We're going to talk about the chemical properties, and we're going to start by describing the ancient Greek models of matter. So the Greek model of matter was processed by ancient Greek philosophers that suggested that matter is composed of tiny invisible particles called atoms. They believed that these atoms were eternal and unchangeable and that different types of matter were made up of different arrangement of atoms. While the Greek model of matter was a significant contribution to early scientific thought, our understanding of atoms and their structure has evolved significantly since then. Modern atomic theory has revealed the complex subatomic structure of atoms and their interactions. Dalton's atomic theory. So Dalton's atomic theory proposed by John Dalton in the early 19th century led the foundation for model atomic theory. So according to Dalton, atoms are invisible and indestructible, particles that combine in fixed ratios to form compounds. He also suggested that chemical reactions involve the arrangement of atoms, but the atoms themselves remain unchanged. While some aspects of Dalton theory have been refined over time, his idea formed the basis for our current understanding to the atomic structure. Atomic theory. Thomson's atomic theory proposed by J.J. Thomson in the late 19th century introduced the concept of the electron. So technically what he said that he suggested that atoms are made up of positively charged matter with negatively charged electrons embedded within it. Like plums in a, in a, in a pudding, this model known as the plum pudding model revolutionized our understanding of atomic structure and laid the groundwork for further discoveries about the subatomic particles. So, J.J. Thompson theory was a significant step forward in our understanding of the atom. Atomic theory. So Rutherford's atomic theory proposed by Ernest Rutherford in the early 20th century introduced the concept of atomic nucleus. He conducted his famous gold foil experiment where he observed that most of the alpha particles passed through the foil, but a small percentage were deflected or bounced back. From this, Rutherford concluded that atoms have a tiny, dense, positively charged nucleus at the center, surrounded by mostly empty space with negatively charged electrons orbiting around it. This model will actually help us understand the atomic structure and lead to the foundation for the modern understanding of the atom. Thank you.